Okay, uh, now we need to work up the reaction and I'm going to start by adding 15 milliliters of distilled water which I've prepared here and watch what happens And you should be able to see that the solids are dissolving. The solids are, uh, remember the, um, the byproducts from the oxone reaction. Um, so we should see some KHSO4, which is formed from the reaction of KHSO5. And we're also probably seeing uh, other salts, we've, we've got a little bit of sodium chloride in there as well. We're also going to add in uh, a spatula tip, that's a very precise measurement, and, uh, of sodium bisulfite. Now, sodium bisulfite is a reducing agent and it will help to reduce any excess of the sodium hypochlorite that we formed during this reaction and also um, the uh, leftover oxo in this one. There's my spatula tip. I'm going to give that a short time to allow it to neutralize uh, the oxone and the sodium hypochlorite. Then we'll check with starch iodide paper to make sure that we're ready to start the uh, rest of the workup. So now we're checking for uh, leftover oxone and sodium hypochlorite, leftover oxidizing agent. And hopefully you can see this is clear, um, I should say colorless uh, or white. Uh, there's no, um, no blue color um, formed. So we're ready to proceed with the rest of the workup. So we start by separating so now I'm going to separate the two layers Let's wait till the two layers fully separate and then we'll continue with the workup. So now I'm going to separate the um, two layers and hopefully you can see uh, plus A. Can you see the interface? And there we are. I'm just
just making sure we get as much as we can off the tip there. And now I'm going to put the residual, uh, the top layer, if I can get it out, um, I'll put the top layer into uh, flat feet. just have the uh, separating funnel upside down there to tip it out. Now I need to put the contents of flask A, which is my aqueous layer, uh, this here, flask A, I'll put that back in. And then I add five milliliters of more ethyl acetate here. And then I'm going to shake this mixture up to extract the organic product out of the aqueous layer. We've already got a lot of it in class B, but a small amount of the organic product, the camphor, is um, remaining trapped in the aqueous layer. So I'm going to shake it up, let me get a stopper. So remember what I taught you, you, um, you can swirl it around a little bit to begin with. This particular one shouldn't pressurize very much, but um, let's Invert it and then release the pressure. Then shake it gently just for a short time. Then release the pressure. Then shake a little more vigorously. Release the pressure. And I'm not getting any pressure. I'm not hearing any. So I can give this a harder shake. Burnt it. I'm going to do the rest of the shaking off camera. Um, so I can give it a really good shake and then we'll let it settle again. Okay, I gave that a minute or two to settle and hopefully you can see there are two layers in here. So I'm now going to separate those two layers. Again, I'm putting the aqueous in flask A, which you should be able to see there. Um, out a little um, and then we'll put uh, the top layer into flask B. I'm slowing down to a drip now and now we're 
we're there. So again, we'll take out the top layer uh, and I'm, I'm going to pour it out the top and into flask B which has the um, top layer from the earlier separation in it. So now I've got my original extraction uh, or original separation of the ethyl acetate layer followed by uh, the extract with five milliliters of ethyl acetate. Now I'm gonna do the same thing twice more. I'm not gonna video that because it, it'll look exactly the same as what I've just done. But once I've done this t twice more, uh, when we look again at class B, you'll see it's got 10 milliliters more of ethyl acetate extracts in it. But it's exactly the same as we've just done. And then we'll be ready to dry the solution. So now I've let it settle on the final extraction. We'll put uh, our bottom layer back in flask A. Hopefully you can see the uh, meniscus here, or the, the interface between the two layers. I let just about one drop of the uh, top layer go through because uh, it's the final time. I don't want to let any Icarus layer in. Now I'm going to put top layer into class B. And then we're going to dry it over sodium sulfate. So now we have our original ethyl acetate in there plus three times five mils from the different extractions. And when we do sodium sulfate, here is the sodium sulfate bottle I'm using. Um, students always ask, how much should I use? Well, it does depend rather on how much uh, organic solution you're trying to dry. If you look here we've got almost 20 milliliters so we have a fair bit we need to uh, to dry so I'm going to add a decent amount. I'm going to use one of these picker spatulas and I'm going to add what in uh, the north of England we refer to as a slack handful. So there it is, now that's about one slack handful for this size flask. Now I'm going to have to put the um, camera down for a moment. So this needs to sit. Now over the sodium sulfate, uh, hopefully you can see the sodium sulfate in there. That's going to soak up the water. I'm going to leave it now in my drawer because I've got to go off now. I'm going to leave it to dry like this and then we're going to continue this in the next video.